Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nick 100 and today I am back with another LEGO Super Heroes set review for you guys. And today I have the second Spider-Man Homecoming set for you guys. So, this set is named the ATM Heist Battle. It has a set number of 76082. It has 185 pieces, and this set retails for $19.99. Now, is it worth the 20 bucks? My personal opinion, yes. Uh, whatever you guys think is worth 20 bucks is totally up to you. But... I think this set is worth it. Um, now, I get that a lot of people aren't really attracted to buying this set, mostly because it's just kind of like a little playset thing and there's nothing really valuable out of it. There's no other heroes or none of the villains are in this set. But personally, I wanted to get this set because I really enjoyed the scene in the trailer uh, that this set depicts where it's like Spidey interrupts a, uh, a bank robbery of, uh, <laughs> not even a bank robbery, an ATM robbery of all the guys like dressed up in Avengers masks and stuff like that. He's like, you guys aren't the real Avengers. So I think that this set is cool just for that one scene. And I feel like that'll probably, though it'll probably be one of my favorite scenes in the movie. So I think I've been rambling on for long enough. So let's get into this review. All right. So starting off with the figures in this set, obviously we have Spider-Man. Now I've already given my overall thoughts on this figure uh, in my last uh, Spider-Man Homecoming review. So if you guys want to go take a look at that, you guys can go check it out. But this figure, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just going to sum up what I said before. But this figure is really good. I think LEGO did a fantastic job with creating, with uh, recreating the real Spider-Man suit that we actually saw in theaters, unlike that prototype suit that was all pre-CGI when they were filming Civil War. But the figure's pretty cool. There's a lot of nice printing, uh, especially on the torso and the arms. Uh, dual molded legs on Spider-Man is a really nice touch, and I just think the whole figure, it just, it comes together so well. So, I think that's it for Spider-Man, so let's move on to the next figure. Next up on the figures, uh, we have one of the robbers for the bank. So, nothing really too interesting, just aside from the fact that he's wearing a Captain America mask. Um, I actually really like the face printing, uh, because both of, both of the robbers in the set actually have dual faces, which I think is really cool, but before I show you that, I'll just give you an overall look at the figure. Nothing really too, uh, complicated, the guy's just wearing a jacket, it's pretty nice. Uh, this is the same logo that appears on the crates in the, uh, Beware the Vulture set, like on the crates in the truck, so I wonder if that's like a, I don't know, like a, it's just a show name for uh, maybe the Vulture's like criminal empire organization for smuggling Chitauri technology. So it's really cool there's a stud shooter there. But like I said, I was going to show you the face printing. So that's what he looks like uh, just with the mask. Then if you turn him around, uh, he has a tooth knocked out. And I'm pretty sure Spider-Man knocked that out. So I don't know. I hope this guy has good insurance. So that is it for the first robber. So let's move on to the final figure. The last figure that we get in the set is the other robber, so uh, kind of like the first robber, not really anything too fancy about this figure, it's just the fact that he has a Hulk mask. He also has this gun that has a trans purple chain, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to represent like some kind of Chitauri technology. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, he has a nice jacket though, I will give him that. Uh, so. On the one side of his head is the Hulk mask, and then if we turn it around, he uh, he got beat up a little bit, and he's got a little bandage over his eyebrow there, and a little scuff mark right there next to his mouth. So that's pretty cool. Um, but like I said, nothing really too fancy about those minifigures. So I think that does it for all the minifigures that you get in this set. So let's move on. All right. So the set itself isn't really too complicated. Uh, just starting it off, you get this nice, like, lime green motorcycle, which belongs to one of the robbers. Uh, nothing really too special about it, so I think we're done looking at it. But now, this is the main feature of the set. This is the AM, uh, I was about to say AMC, ATM. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I've been going to the movies too much lately. Uh, just saw Pirates last night. It was pretty good. Um, but this is supposed to be the ATM, where Spidey breaks in and sees all the guys in Avengers masks just robbing the place. There is no roof here at all. Uh, there is a little bit of playability here which I'm going to show you guys right about now. So this lever right here uh, 
What does it do, you may ask? If you pull down on it, it pops out that front window, and you can just push that back into place. And then right here, you can just pop it right back in. So there's some cool stickers on there too to make it look like the glass was broken a little bit. So if you actually, you can actually open this up. So this could be like a little playset area. Uh, there's nothing over here besides the door. But then over here, uh, you got some nice little ATM machines right here. Um, either, and these are all stickers here. There's a lot of stickers in, for a $20 set. But what the playability here is, is that right there on the back, what this red lever does is that you're just supposed to like hit it down really hard. But then I failed because I suck. But then all that money just pops out and there's a couple of uh, $100 uh, little smooth plates right there. So like I said, you're just supposed to hit that lever. It goes flying through here and the money's supposed to pour out. So I think that's really it for the set itself. Nothing really too shabby uh, or nothing too like fancy or complicated I should say. So that does it for the set itself. So let's get into the outro of this video. All right guys, I think that'll do it for this review. So uh, let me know down in the comments below if you guys are going to get this set, if you guys are excited for uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, or just your overall thoughts or opinions on this set. So, like I said before, personally, uh, I think that this set is worth it. I mean, especially for 20 bucks, you get, I think, a fairly good deal. So, uh, th on that note, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, follow me on all my social media platforms, links are down in, in the uh, description below. You can watch more of my videos click by clicking on the annotations on the screen now. And uh, again, thank you guys for watching. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.